Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the 12th Apostle, entitled Extremes. Extreme is used only one time in the Bible record in Deuteronomy 28.32 as a warning for not obeying the laws of God. As you know and understand, this only use of extreme is used to emphasize the importance of obeying the health laws for his chosen people, the descendants of Israel. Although the concept of extreme is used many times, such as with all of the laws that are commandments through divine love and not suggestions, it is written, And he, Jesus, said unto them, the Pharisees, Ye are them which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it, meaning altering the laws to their own likes. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one bit of the law to fail. Luke 16, 15 through 17. Highly esteemed among men is simply self-exaltation and pride that is so prevalent today. The natural instincts of humanity on altered earth is their deep desire to be a king or a queen in the vast kingdom of God, but few considered the laws to be a means to that end. So not to love and to hate, the humans who do not know and understand the purpose of the law is to break the law that cannot be changed, only fulfilled apart from any and all jealousies. Forgiveness for the responsible human soul on altered earth here in their mortal body is a personal privilege and not a right. For this is the only time oh, we can be forgiven exclusively through the person and work of Jesus Christ, God's only begotten beloved Son, who began at his conception and lived a sinless life for 43 years, the number of testing plus three for his temporal mortal body, immortal soul, and spirit body on altered earth, where he was crucified and died the extreme agonizing unknowns for the last three hours of his crucifixion and three deaths of separation from God, soul, spirit body, and mortal body, for all the consequences of all sins, of all souls, of all spirit and mortal time, once for all, forever. All of the host of heaven now know, understand, and believe these truths that cancels out all prophesied probable conflicts in heaven, but not on altered earth among foolish men who will try any extremes to fulfill their evil deceptions. Therefore, beloved, you can easily see that full legal forgiveness is a privilege and not a right and that evil men will very soon end this evil world age. Not the earth that is God's favorite place in the expanding universe heavens that he will very soon restore to far greater splendor and indestructible glory, but this evil world age. See how easy it is for the proven truth to set you free from all fear and extreme concerns the unlimited human soul can have. We have so many advantages that the chosen few in previous generations did not have, especially now. Our present witness is primarily to the great host of heaven, as we are surrounded primarily by close-minded people who think they have need of nothing in the buckle of the Bible belt, that this locked in illustrative term represents the emotional feelings of the many human souls who depend upon their feelings instead of understanding, knowing, and believing the proven truth that can and will set them free from the fear of all sin, uh, evil, and death while in their very temporary classroom here on altered earth. Our responsible witness to these stoic souls are kind words and actions, for we are the only ones that we can control 
And we prove this in our attitude and actions, even through our rest, in the midst of the storms of this evil world age. Remember the great examples that Jesus gave to us that chosen men wrote about as he taught in the buckle of the Old Testament belt of the law in religious Jerusalem under extreme conditions. Controlling what we say and do has many other blessings that will extend far into the future through love and kindness for all who continually seek to find fault with others or their own worst enemies. The love Jesus had for the great potentials of the unlimited human soul was far greater than the evil negatives he exposed in the religious leaders of Judaism in Jerusalem to the extremes of his crucifixion they demanded by the ruling Roman government there at that time that God turned into the greatest blessing for all forever. If we complain, it, it makes it much harder for us to progress in our temporary school here. Making a consistent habit of using only positive words is good for us and all those around us, as only good things can come from speaking and acting in a positive, confident, good manner. And you, beloved, especially, have everything to be extremely confident about. Thank you so much for your time. Until next time.